Federal Constitutional Convention, Tuesday, June the 26th, 1787. Mr. Madison, we cannot, however, be regarded, even at this time, as one homogeneous mass, in which everything that affects a part will affect in the same manner the whole. In framing a system which we wish to last for ages, we should not lose sight of the changes which ages will produce. An increase of population will of necessity increase the proportion of those who will labor under all the hardships of life and secretly sigh for a more equal distribution of its blessings. These may in time outnumber those who are placed above the feelings of indigence. According to the equal laws of suffrage, the power will slide into the hands of the former. No agrarian attempts have yet been made in this country, but symptoms of a leveling spirit, as we have understood, have sufficiently appeared in a certain quarters to give notice of the future danger. How is this danger to be guarded against on Republican principles? How is the danger in all cases of interested coalitions to oppress the minority to be guarded against? Among other means, by the establishment of a body in the government, sufficiently respectable for its wisdom and virtue, to aid on such emergencies, the preponderance of justice by throwing its weight into that scale. Such being the objects of the second branch in the proposed government, he thought a considerable duration ought to be given to it. He did not conceive that the term of nine years could threaten any real danger, but in pursuing his particular ideas on the subject, he should require that the long term allowed to the second branch should not commence till such a period of life as would have rendered a perpetual disqualifi disqualification to be re-elected, little inconvenient either in a public or private view. He observed that as it was more than probable we were now digesting a plan which in its operation would decide forever the fate of Republican government, we ought not only to provide every guard to liberty that its preservation could require, but be equally careful to supply the defects which our own experience has particularly pointed out. In 2023, that is a paragraph of wisdom, and it's talking about the Senate and talking about the equal distribution of its blessings by some of the people at the lower end of the economic scale, and they're having the, uh, the power of the vote. That is a very prescient paragraph.